Konnichiwa everyone, it's Dan from Judan.co.uk and today I'm in Kobe. Cool, so that's right, today I'm in the wonderful city of Kobe. I'm stood outside Kobe Station and Kobe is a pretty popular city in the west of Japan. It's not far from Osaka. It's pretty near where I live and I wanted to just kind of come here today, walk around and have a look at some stuff I've not really seen before. I spend a lot of time in Kobe but sometimes I end up going to the same places in Kobe all the time. So I thought today I come to a place I've not really been to before and have a look. The place in question is the port. So Kobe is pretty famous for being a port town. In the 19th century, it was one of the first ports that opened to outsiders in Japan. And basically, a lot of the city revolves around the port. There's also mountains this way, the port's this way. And it's just a short walk on the underground to what's called Medicum Park, which is like a port town, little park area, with lots of cool shit to do. So with that in mind, let's go and have a look. not really your thing and you're more into like the shopping things and this place is for you this is Umie this is one of the most popular shopping malls in Kobe and it's kind of a nice place to just walk through they got some cool like little art installations and they've also got some cool shops if that's what you're into and they've got a weird escalator that I kind of like so let's have a quick walk through and check that shit out too After you walk through Umie and you've been up that weird wavy escalator, which I kind of like, you find yourself at the entrance of Mosaic. Mosaic is a different mall. It's a bit more hipstery, I guess. And it's got some more like kind of market stalls and stuff. And you can pick up some pretty cool souvenirs. So let's have a look at that too. So just as I'm walking through Mosaic, I find this place. Calbi Plus, not just regular Calbi. Calbi is a brand of like potato chips in Japan. And here they have like a little boutique where they do like special flavors or they do like special edition shit. And you can actually watch it be made. So we're we'll trying to get to send some fucking next level potato chips. Let's have a look. Crisps, sorry for you English people. limited edition potato chips, Worcester sauce and soy sauce flavor. I'm gonna get them down me through it. Let's have a look. Cool. So taste test time. Smell Worcester sauce. 
still warm. Oh, they're good. Let's take a closer look. So, find yourself in the actual boat area of Harbourland, where the boats come in and the boats come in. It's pretty good. So, yeah, as you can see behind me, there's like the Port Tower and American Park and the Maritime Museum and stuff. So, we're going to go check that in a minute. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy a little wander around this area. It's pretty cool. Hopefully, see a boat come in. And look at all nice couples having a nice time. Should be alright. After you've had a little walk through Mosaic and you've had a walk through Umie, you find yourself at the entrance to the Ampan Man Museum. Ampan Man is a kid's cartoon, basically involves a dude called Ampan Man and his adventures with his little bros and that. It's pretty cool. So if you've got kids or even if you're just a kid inside like me, you can check out the Ampan Man Museum. And there's also lots of other cool stuff like some entertainment stuff to do around here. Uh, there's a massive Ferris wheel and there's a couple of other game centers and stuff. So let's go check out some of that stuff. Nice one. So, next up is this massive Ferris wheel thing. I'm gonna have a go on. So, it's about 800 yen, I think, for one time round. Might get some decent views, should be pretty cool. I'm mad for a Ferris wheel, I've been on a few. So, this is not new to me, but might get some decent views at Harbour, innit? What? Cloudy, but it's all right. It's home to the Kawasaki Good Times Museum. Uh, it's home to some big oriental hotel thing, some weird art installations, a bit of earthquake that's left over, and of course, a weird Starbucks. So we're going to walk around, explore this cool little area, and see what it's got to offer us.
that's the end of my little tour, I guess, around Kobe's Harbourland. Harbourland is only a small part of Kobe, and I've got plenty more videos to show other parts of Kobe in the playlist here. And I'm also going to make you more as time goes on. So if you're thinking about coming to Kobe, check out those videos. Probably got some cool stuff you might want to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, bang a thumbs up on the video and hit the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And as always, until next time, jamata.